Other than skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in American men, with 270,000 new cases and 34,000 deaths each year. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason F. Staffew, a radiation oncologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. There has been a seismic shift in prostate cancer management in recent years, and an explosion in options of new therapies, including proton beam therapy. So what is the prostate, and what is prostate cancer? The normal prostate helps create the fluid that is part of semen. Prostate cancer begins when cells in the prostate gland start to grow out of control. So then, what is proton therapy for prostate cancer? Well, radiation kills cancer cells, and proton therapy, also called proton beam therapy, is a type of radiation treatment that uses high-energy, focused beams to target the prostate precisely. Typically, when people refer to radiation therapy, they're referring to conventional radiation, also called photons or IMRT, which uses an X-ray style of beams. Looking at the physics of protons, the beam goes to a certain depth in the body and stops. So there is less exit dose compared to photons or IMRT, which don't have that ability to stop. Because of this, protons lead to less whole body radiation dose, less of a low dose radiation bath in the pelvis. The question is, does this low to moderate dose radiation bath make a difference? With both proton therapy and conventional radiation, the whole prostate gets treated, so the cure rates will likely be the same. But when you cancel the two out, this is what it looks like. The prostate is grayed out because it's getting the same dose, but there is this color wash of extra dose in the pelvis from conventional radiation compared to protons. Typically, a proton treatment delivers up to 60% less radiation to healthy tissue within the pelvis. But the million dollar question is, does this mean less side effects? Does this mean less fatigue or less bowel side effects because there is less of a low dose radiation bath in the pelvis? Does this mean less radiation associated second cancer risks in the years to come? We don't exactly know yet, but the hope would be that this would translate into less side effects. And this is what we are evaluating in rigorous, cutting-edge clinical trials and studies that have been led by Mass General. Dr. Robert Wilson, a professor of physics at Harvard, first proposed the use of proton beam therapy for cancer treatment in his seminal paper in 1946. As one of the first hospitals in the world to establish its own proton therapy for cancer, Massachusetts General Hospital has an unmatched history in treating both benign and malignant tumors with proton therapy. At Massachusetts General Hospital, a founding member of Mass General Brigham, our researchers have pioneered standards of care in proton therapy planning and delivery, not just for prostate cancer, but many other types of cancers. In collaboration with the National Cancer Institute and cooperative groups like NRG Oncology, we are setting the bar on clinical care standards that have been adopted worldwide. Our physics research group has created methods and algorithms that have been incorporated into clinical practice in proton centers across the globe. Our goal is to eradicate prostate cancer. We have been following our patients in the fight against cancer for decades so that we can really understand the long-term outcomes of our treatments. We always have new clinical trials, so if you're interested in participating, be sure to check out our website listed below. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Jason F. Staffew. For another video on prostate cancer, click here. And don't forget to subscribe here.